We're back live in the newsroom this morning with a Fox 5 News alert on that deadly convenience store shooting in District Heights that left one man dead, two others injured. Let's get right out to Fox 5, Stephanie Ramirez. And Steph, you just saw surveillance video from that shooting. Uh, what can you tell us right now? Sure, Jacqueline. Sorry about earlier. Uh, we can tell you the shooting happened outside of the Fresh Market 24-7 business here, a convenience store on Marlboro Pike. Now, only on Fox 5. We obtained multiple videos. One of them we are going to show you. We do still need to warn viewers. Some may find this disturbing. And we are also not showing the exact moment of the shooting. We do have the video for you. What we can tell you is you see a sedan pull up outside of the convenience store with four suspects jumping out and running toward the victim armed. Now we freeze the video so you do not again see the actual shooting, but I can tell you that it does appear to show the suspects essentially execute this victim, getting very close when firing their weapons. And there's also another person trying to enter the store in a walker at the time of this shooting. Multiple people outside as well. Our team was on scene last night and counted over a hundred evidence markers on scene in the parking lot area here, just blanketing outside of the business. Prince George's County Police tell us they got the call at around 3.15 in the afternoon yesterday and arrived to find a man in his 20s dead. A woman in her 50s and a man in her 60s were also shot. We are told they are innocent bystanders in this one after one. Customers arriving this morning were shocked to learn what happened. To all the little kids, man, be smart, be safe, and try to stay in school, keep your head up, and pick your friends, and just be smart. That's all you can do. Pick your right friends. Try to... You go left with the wrong one, try to go right and try to stay away from them, stay positive and try to stay smart out here and live your life, man. Cause we only got one life, so once it's gone, it's gone, whether you like it or not. Guys, police have not identified the man killed yet. We were told the woman injured, the innocent bystander, she had to undergo surgery. We are also still waiting for an update on her condition. No announcement of any arrests yet. Stephen? My goodness, Stephanie. Thank you for that report. We appreciate the update there.